Next into the tank is a way to make your holiday meals more exciting. Hi, Sharks. My name's Lance Burney. And I'm Kim Burney. We're from Sanford, Florida, seeking $100,000 for a 20% equity stake in our company. And we've created a fun new twist on a family tradition. We love entertaining our family and friends, especially during the holidays. This year, instead of cutting the turkey with the same old boring knife, why not wow your family and friends with... The, the Mighty Carver! Carver. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. The Mighty Carver is an electric carving knife that looks, sounds, and feels like a chainsaw. Your family and friends will love it, guaranteed to put a smile on their face. Not only is it fun, but it cuts really well. <laughs> That's great. Wow. <laughs> Easy. And it's just not for turkey. It has other uses as well. You can use it on pineapples. You can use it on cantaloupes and bread. My personal favorite is the morning bagel. So this year, be the life of the party. Create fun family memories with the Mighty Carver. <laughs> Mark, would you like to come up and give sure, it a try? Sure, why not? Whoa, what a man, what a man. Man in his chainsaw. <laughs> There's a cutting accessory down there, too, if you want to get fun with it. Oh! Oh, my nice. God. Now we're talking. Nice. <laughs> and now let's start with the bread. <laughs> this is actually really cool, really easy. And you can use the leverage. The actual handle gives you leverage for when you're cutting. Yeah, it really is. And when you screw up like I did, bam. <laughs> <laughs> How did you come up with this idea? So we had Thanksgiving dinner, and usually growing up, my grandfather cut the turkey. He's no longer with us. Somebody has to carry on this great tradition. And I've tried to figure out, is it dad? Is it my husband? Is it my brother? So uh, my guys love chainsaws and power tools. They're just power tool freaks. And that's when I thought, wow, if this was a power tool, they'd all be fighting Fine over enough. <laughs> So this was your idea? Yes. From start to finish. Is there any way to have a childproof lock or anything like that? Because that'd be my greatest fear. My 11-year-old would grab it and go Jason on everything. Well, you got to remember, too, that they've been around for a long time. So you, you lock up your regular knives. Well, no, I get that right. But it, do it doesn't look as enticing <laughs> as this. You no, know? you'd want to put it up and put it in a safe place in the cabinets and everywhere else. Where are you selling these primarily? So we went to the International Houseware Show last March, and we picked up um, some big resellers right off the bat. Sharper Image, Gromit, Ace Hardware In stores. the stores, the physical in, retail. In we just stores. got our purchase orders while we were here for that. So guys, this is very easy to demonstrate visually, and you could sell direct to customer a full margin. Yes. Yes, Why that's what our, that's what our plan is. Of that? That's what our plan is. Our goal is to get, we, we got kind of skewed toward the resellers right now, like 90% of our business is with resellers. I need to get that back to buying direct to the consumer off of our website, because right now we're, you know, we're splitting the money with everybody, right, right, and I'd right. rather bring it back our way. All right, break down the numbers for me. So we've sold 8,500 units. And in how many months was that? The past 12 months. 12 months. What was the total sales figure? 163,000 last year we've sold. 41,000 year to date. So what does it cost you to manufacture and what do you sell it for? All right, so it's $20 landed here in the US. We sell them for $69 to $89 retail. What does a typical electric knife sell for? Just a regular plain electric knife. Yeah. I mean, if somebody, a chef puts their name on it, it could be $169, but you can get the cheapest one at, at, you know, at a box store for maybe 19, 20 bucks. Do you have a patent or any type of coverage on it? Yes, we have a design patent and a Chinese patent. And it's pretty broad. Anybody that tries to make anything that looks like a chainsaw on an electric knife. That's all you need, yeah, that's all you need. Okay, it's very demonstrable. I mean, I'm making the assumption with the right digital buy and a 59 second video, you could sell a ton of these at Thanksgiving. We, yeah. yeah. So Have you done that? Have you done any um, videos or digital marketing? Mm -hmm. You did 41,000 this year and 163,000 last year. So what part of that came from those digital ads? 10%. 10%? Mm -hmm. That's all. That's Why do you we... think they didn't work better? We were early. We were um, doing some marketing early. A lot of this is showing up 
uh, organically, like the Wall Street Journal did an article on us. We sold 300 the next day. When did you run those ads? What time of year? That was November 17th, that next Monday. Kim and I flew back from a uh, dance competition and uh, shipped out 300. What like dance competition? You were dancing? We're, we're ballroom dancers. You what? are? You are living the, are living the best life ever. I love it. Do a little ballroom dance. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm interested in this because it kind of fits into my Chef Wonderful world. And I could actually get behind it, shoot some videos. I've got three studios I shoot commercials in. I'll do the deal 100000 for 33 and a third percent. You know, three amigos. I want to be a third partner. Wait a minute. You know, I use an electric knife often for fishing, and then I use another one inside the house. Now, I like it. I, I think you guys are fun. I use electric knives all the time. So I'll give you 100000 for 27.5%. Wow. Unfortunately, you're not Chef Wonderful. Very thank, lucky about thank, that. Thank, thank you. God. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Barbara, did we answer all your questions? Uh, I'm just trying to think of how I could outwit these two other sharks and take this deal. So I'm going to be quiet for a minute. I want to get Daddy Big Bucks out of the way over here. <laughs> what are you doing, Lori? I'm listening to Mark. Why is everybody waiting on me? <laughs> well, you're know, always guys. waiting you know on us. If you do it right now, do it for I'll do 100,000 for 25 percent. You got to say yes right now. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Don't be so fast. Relax. You know what happens after we, we keep dancing it around? It could go. We, we've watched, we've crammed course 11 seasons. So yeah. we 25% <laughs> right now, $100,000. How about 22? dollars 25. Um, I'm offering you 25% for 100,000. That's five points over what you asked for. And he's really into it. No, I don't care about it. I just want to take the deal. Yeah. Like yes or no? Yeah, I'm shocked at night. Guys, do you want to make an offer? You're about to lose the deal. You know what? Hold it. No, this we're not really going to lose scary. the deal. Look at over okay. here. We have something He's to say. He's going to walk, you guys. Going once. We Five, want to give you the four, same offer. Going three, 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 two. Wait, 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 wait. He loves it. Come He's a fisherman. Here. You ready? No. Got it. No. Right? Good. Kim said yes. Oh, no, no. She's the boss. <laughs> no, no. Thank you, guys. Kim. Oh, no. Dance out. Dance out. Thank you. We will. Oh, we'll dance out. Yes, dance out. There you go. <laughs> We were hearing Mark and uh, Barbara talking in the background, but then when Lori started saying, he's serious, he's a fisherman, you should do the deal, I was like, okay, we need to do the deal. And Kim made the, pull the trigger and it, it's a done deal, we're happy. Very happy with Damon. You dirty dog, Damon, you dirty dog. You waited dog. too long, Barbara. It just shows you, you snooze, you lose. You're squawking like a chicken, the deal oh just dances God. out. Next in the tank is an innovation to a common kitchen tool. Sharks, I'm Adam. And I'm Josh. We're from Columbus, Ohio, and we're the creators of The Handy Pan. We're here seeking a $10,000 investment for 20% equity in our company. <laughs> Sharks, Gosh. everybody loves Taco Tuesday. You know what nobody loves? Cleaning up the greasy, disgusting mess that follows cooking with a frying pan. We've all been there. You try pinching the lid, lose half your meat, still end up with grease in your tacos. Or you do the spoon dance, and you have to guess when your food is done straining. Or you have the messy exchange with a clunky colander that you still end up having to clean in the end. That's where we come in. Introducing the handy pan. A pan when you want it, a strainer when you need it. With the simple push of a button, boom! The amazing handy pan becomes a strainer, too. Oh. Bacon, no problem. Eating a little healthier, boom! Perfect for your veggies and stir fries. How about pasta night with the family, sharks? Boom! Now you cook your meat sauce all in one pan. Cook your meat sauce in one pan. Wow, that's really clever. Hey, and the handy pot is perfect for your pastas. What if you don't need to strain? You're cooking something that doesn't require it. No worries. The patented design makes sure the strainer is always there if you need it, but it's never in the way if you don't need it. The handy pan is a must have for anyone who cooks. All right, sharks, let's get cooking. Without yeah. the grease, of course. And you'll notice some samples in front of you to try for yourselves if you'd like. Josh, Adam, one of the hardest things you can do is get on this show. Thousands of people apply. Yes, sir. You did it, and you're looking for $10,000. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> you're looking for the cheapest number we ever That is a first. <laughs> it, it, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked. It took wow. three years of effort to get on this show. Basically, the valuation is that we wanted to come in here with a number that doesn't stand in the way of a deal. And have you sold any? 
So currently, to date, after a small production run, we've got $7,955.61 in sales. Really? We understand with $7,900 in sales that we're not going to be able to ask for a million dollar valuation, of course. That doesn't stop anybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. You've been in business three years. Why so few sales? Great question. The sales have been exclusively online. And what I believe is this is a product that's ripe for retail. How much does it cost? $29.99. And, and what does it cost to make? Um, it was $8.89 per unit. Landed, we were at $11.43, but that was only based off 950 units. Josh, but it's what? highly demonstrable. Why do you think your sales are so low? Personally, I think that people like this, but it doesn't move the needle enough in that mainstream market to make someone a frying pan customer who's not already a but frying pan customer. But $7,000, there's got to be a bigger reason. I feel like you're oh, not well, telling well, us well, something. Let's just ask honestly, and, and listen, what do you think honestly, you did wrong? You know, I think in hindsight, I think that we could have promoted it better with our online um, videos, advertising sales. That's not an arena that either of us were in currently. So I think we had some struggles there. What were there. you in? What's your background? I started out as a um, entry level person in a office technologies company. I ended up as the director of service for 10 years at that company. And then I've transferred into real estate. Okay, and you? I am an attorney, and I actually am a server and a bartender a few nights a week at a local restaurant. And an attorney. What does that say about your attorney skills? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it says I need a break a few times a week oh, and want to hit the office switch. Oh, good <laughs> clients. <laughs> That's where he finds his clients, yeah. I, I what love area of law? Uh, criminal defense, mostly. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm going to tell you why it's 7955 bucks or whatever it is. Nobody cares. This Chef is not a product Stop. that's ever going no, to sell. No, are you Stop. kidding me? Well, then how come there's no sales, Mark? Well, let's ask the right question then, right? How much money have you spent on advertising? For that amount of sales, we spent $553 There you Facebook go, ads. right? It's very, very hard to sell direct-to-consumer online from your own website. So the next question becomes, did you try to sell these on Amazon? We did not. Oh, well, there, oh, there's a big miss. But yeah, listen, absolutely. I'm going to completely disagree with Kevin, all right? So I think that you probably just don't, didn't have the right marketing savvy. When you're cooking, if you could just do this and drain out the grease, Eureka. Yeah. And you don't have to clean two things. The it's great a, part about the design and our patent is that it can fit on any size pan, any size this? patent. And you have a patent that covers all of this? We with have four design and utility on what you're holding. We have design issued on pot and pending utility on pot. So three of the four are issued. The value of having an attorney partner, right? <laughs> <laughs> so guys, listen, we've got I, a great product. Guys, it's a great product. Here's what doesn't make sense to me. You're obviously bright guys. Right? You're a lawyer. But they got right, they got day jobs. Their back's not no, against no, no, the wall. I hear you, but we've had over the 13 seasons, we've had people here with three jobs, no experience, never knew how to do video, never knew nothing about social, but when they need it and their back was up against the wall, they made it happen. You haven't done anything in three years. Because they got other jobs. Rebecca is not against what is that? Wait, wait, wait. You want to know something? I don't even care about all this. You ask for $10,000 for 20%, I'll give yeah. it to you. I have nothing to lose. Done. We're done. Absolutely. Done. Good. Got a deal. Okay. There you go. Smart boy. Smart. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> I mean, seriously, what do I have to lose? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Kaboom. <laughs> Pleasure to meet all of you. Thank you very much. Congratulations, guys. Good job. Check you. it out. Brilliant. Why didn't you ask for 50%? I don't want to be a greedy no. savage like you. We came here. Lori was exactly who we wanted. We thought we had a good valuation to just make it a no-brainer. We actually sat on the deck of my house with my wife, drawing this on a napkin, and she first said, you guys are idiots. Uh, I don't even know what that is. And this guy said, that. you won't be calling us idiots when we have a deal with Lori Grenier. First in the tank is a modern version of a traditional service business. Hi Sharks, my name is Mark. Hi, my name is Michael. We started at knife sharpening service by mail, Knife Aid. A super simple idea, disrupting an old trade by e-com. For the right shark, we're offering the opportunity to invest $400,000 for 15% of our company. 
Ooh, that's a lot of knives. A knife is something most Americans touch every day, yet knife sharpening, a beautiful ancient craft, has almost been lost and has not been digitalized. Pretty much everyone has dull knives at home. People love using a sharp knife, but very few people know how, where, we even have the time to get those knives sharpened. And that's the very reason we started Knife Aid. So this is how simple it works. Order online, receive our secure postage paid envelope that guarantees safe shipping. Take your dull knives into the envelope, back in the mailbox, and off it goes. And our expert knife smith will work their magic. They will recreate that razor sharp edge, and your knives will come back to you sharper than the day you bought them, all within about a week. So, Sharks, who wants a slice of our business? <laughs> I'm very intrigued. You may not know this, but I'm actually Chef Wonderful. I have blades made by Japanese artists that once made samurai swords. My most expensive is now $3,500. Kevin, you have more junk in your house than any I human actually reason. sharpen it with a stone that has two different densities on it. But we'll take your samples. So, so out with the samples, and I think, you know, we want to have a little bit of fun before we start talking about the business and really showing the emotion of using it. I'll try it. Who is most handy with, with a hunting knife, like outdoor? I'll, I'll, do, I'll do outdoor, fine. What we wanted to illustrate here is everybody knows how it is cutting when you have a super sharp knife and how easy it goes. Don't do this at home. Kevin, if you would start with a dull knife, yeah. I want you to cut through the pineapple. Got it. Right through the yeah. center. And this is a dull it's knife. It's very hard to do with a dull knife. Yeah. And you see, it, it's, not, it's not very fun, so you're done. That's the dull knife. <laughs> You're done. OK, so now we try the sharp knife. You need to hold the pineapple steady. And then you, you want me to swipe yes. at yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, do it. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Okay. Rohan, take the rope, and you fold it in two. And you take the dull knife first. And Which is the dull one? Uh, the one that doesn't say sharp on it. OK. So <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. We got oh, joke. I deserve that one. <laughs> Hold it a little bit closer to the rope there so it doesn't slip you. Yeah, it's not good. And hemp is super hard to cut in any case. Now. Should I go with the shop? Yes, yes. Oh, I see. Wow. Wow. I mean. OK, I detect the accents. All right, let's start there. Um, Mark and I moved to the US to start up this business. We have a past of building uh, global brands and businesses. Where did you move here from? I moved from Sweden. Both. I'm originally from America. I grew up in Sweden uh, and moved to America. OK, and what was your best product that you sold before? Uh, I founded uh, Happy Socks. Happy oh, Socks. Oh, I love those. Yeah, it was yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Are you still involved with Happy Socks? Yes, I am, but I'm not operational anymore. I'm on the board and own them. Yep. But how did you come up with the knife idea itself? We saw something back in our country that was similar, but towards more towards the, uh, the commercial side. And we we're thinking about why isn't this done for a consumer and simplify it. Get an envelope, get the knives in, fixed price, just quick turnaround. Isn't and how much do you charge? So go walk us through. We would sharpen an average of $10 a knife for everything included. Minimum package, four knives. Does it matter the size? Like there's serrated, there's um, the bread knife, you know? But that's, that's what like... we simplified. The traditional knife shoppers in a farmer's market, they'll go by inch and they charge different. We made it very simple. It's per blade. Doesn't Any... matter the size. It doesn't Carrying matter the size. knife to large knife. Exactly. And even scissors. So kitchen scissors, scissors goes in there. Hunting knives, fishing knives. you do scissors knives. too? Yeah. Guys, I'm, I'm a little confused. Something's bugging me. OK. You, Michael, are clearly a successful entrepreneur. So you've obviously made a fair bit of money. Why uh, are you here seeking money if you've got a sort of pretty big stack full already? I have previously failed on the US market. Um, we had another brand going into the American market without having American people involved in the business, having the funds raising and how you actually drive growth of the American market. I'm not going to do that mistake again. We put out two strategies. Either we go to venture capital and get venture capital funded deal on it, or we go all-American on what we have seen as the full-on American show, how you reach out and... The power of the tank. What part of this market do you need to understand? It's messaging almost. It's really packaging the product, how to communicate it. It's, it's channel Connecting strategy. Connecting with the target audience, okay. Exactly. What are your sales? So we're on 120 on this side of the year. 120,000? Yeah. How'd you get those sales? So, so really, I mean, the, what we've done is mainly experimentation. We are now on the fourth iteration of our website. So it's sort of a proof of concept sales. You we're used currently Instagram doing. Instagram ads? Have you we used, used, we yeah. use, it's really Facebook, Instagram, Google. How much did you do last month? 37,000. 37,000. Yes. Okay. All right, listen, I'm going to give you an offer. I like the concept. You're fresh, you're unique, you're different. 
Uh, you've already got the packaging down. It's really quite good. I think you are smart in needing to know what the market is here. I, I, there's nobody who knows better, I feel, than... Um, I think I do I, know somebody who knows better. I, no, there isn't anybody that knows <laughs> yeah, better. There is. I know because I've sold over she believes a thousand so products over 20 years to predominantly the U.S. market. But You're I'm gonna, gonna it's offer? a risky offer, okay? I mean, I have no idea how this is gonna go. I'm just gonna give you a flyer, you can take it or leave it. I'm gonna give you 200 in cash, I'm gonna give you 200 as a line of credit, and I want 20%. I mean, if you want someone to just give you cash, great. But if you want someone to give you their mind, their heart, their soul, and the grinding it out, that's me. Well, before we... Yes. Channel strategy. Let, that's yes, obviously let's talk something, a little bit, right. a little bit that's about important it. Because too. I, you know, I think the digital strategy, obviously we know what we're doing and how to acquire. So you've got it. that side down. We're done. I believe... there's still tweaking to be done. Of course. Obviously. I no, really believe right. that there's a lot to do with physical retail. What do you mean physical what do you mean retail? retail? No, so we what, could put this out this retailers. You want them to sell the service and you just share it. So Sonoma. in William Sonoma, they put up a sign and they say, have your knives sharpened by knife aid. Yes. You pay William Sonoma, you know, 25% exactly. of it. And you try to get every retailer, not just William. And that is brand building because they right. need to give us their email and then we cash them again. That's so easy we money too. To. Yeah, just um, so that's just like a general. I could just no. be like, pick a contact, any contact. I have it into every single one of the retailers. We know that, that's why we're here and you ask that's right? why we're here. That's yep. why we are here. Everything and, I offer you, I'm going to make you an offer, okay? What you're I have all the for. same contacts, but I have something she doesn't have. I'm Chef Wonderful. Chef Wonderful's huge in cakes, chocolates, and meats. Google him, he's fantastic. And I love to brand <laughs> stuff around the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I'll get behind this product because I like it a lot. Here's my offer I'll give you 400000 for 20%. I think that's a great idea because you, know, you get Chef Wonderful. Guys, two is always better than one. So when you get the queen of retail, and then you put that together, the king of branding, I mean, that's, that's quite the pairing. We, too, would like to give you 400, but 20% of the company. You get two shocks instead of one self-appointed chef wonderful. My brands get into more Americans' hands than anybody else in the panel. Wait, wait, wait. I think you're being very aggressive in what you're asking. But I like greedy people. Okay. So Kevin and I, we're gonna offer you five hundred thousand dollars for twenty percent. We're upping the ante. If they want to compete, go ahead. It's kind of like we're the right team for you. There's no question about it. You know, here's the thing. Sometimes you can take more money, but that doesn't mean that you're getting what you really need. So you that need I Chef would Wonderful, know that's what you need. If I could fulfill that for <laughs> no you. No question. We want to drive fast. We have the car. We know how to scale it. We know what we're doing. And we need somebody to say, take that route. It's faster. Take that route. We, it's Mark, faster. What what I I, wait, that's what wait, we have done. Let's go what build are my something. Words? Yeah, we, we all want to build something. You guys something. want to make this a DTC business? This is an equity model. You're going to have to raise more cash. Getting us on board means that the biggest venture capital Silicon Valley oh, are going to pay please, ungodly valuations. They all see you. And we're going to take this the biggest to that venture promise you we have three up portfolio. Now, you keep charge. looking over at Mark. So I have a question. Uh -huh. Are you waiting for Mark to give you an offer? No, I just feel a lot of energy coming from that yeah, side no. of the room. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Are you going to make an offer? You asked All about right. accelerants. What do you perceive to be the accelerant that you need? We just want a more potent outreach. We, we need better messaging, even clearer messaging. So, so there's different strategy. ways to do that, right? You can buy it, and that's your SEO, right? And then there's PR. Exactly. And that's right. That's why I'm asking the question. Because social, social PR, I mean, all those tr free traffic sources, those we really want to that, boost. That's where I think I'm stronger than the others because I can walk into any media outlet and pick it up, deal with whoever I want online. But I'll let you guys make a decision here to see if these deals are what you want or not, and I'll just wait. Who would say, I really feel passionate about because this I'm is passionate. all I'm passionate. I jumped in first. Does anybody else have spent 4,000 bucks on this? I passionate? know how to scale No, but you passionate because, because you have a lot of businesses. You're involved in a lot. So we need to know that the person that steps on board with us is actually going to give us one hour more than the other Michael, brand you stepped on to. Any, That's important Michael, to us. Michael, you're you're the my entrepreneurs Michael, call me a one hour question. $4,000 on a blade. Moi. That's Nobody not your target else. market. We're gonna make a call here, Michael. We're making a call. Just have a quick chat. Yeah. You have 30 seconds. Thank you. Damn, you guys grovel enough? 
Well, why don't you make an offer? Yeah, that's a good I don't deal. Beg or grovel. I'm a shark. I am not above doing whatever it takes. Absolutely. You tell him, Lori. I'm with you, Lori. They're taking too long. You got to get them back. Excuse me. I thought this was against the rules, no? No, there's no rules. You know, excuse me, guys. You want to know about passion, right? Well, I'm not sitting waiting. I want this deal. Yeah. I'm um, here. I'm with you. OK, so for us, we we would really want us you to move up to 500 for 20%, because it would feel, feel better for us walking out of here, knowing that we got the same as other guys. Why not? <laughs> I can't even hear what's going on now. And don't, really don't make do mistake. everything don't make for you. Yeah. Um, I think I... at the very you least. You go away. No, no. What do we need? What do we need? Lori, I'll back you. I love your deal, and I think Barbara and I Lori, really I'm in. blow this thing up. You guys know what Plus we're offering an extra $100,000. No. We came here with the target of Lori and Ronan, but I want them to go up to 500 because then me and Mark will walk out of here. But wait, I'm done. taking a hand no, now. Wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. It's, it's closing. 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 It's closing.